In this video we are going to talk about top 5 triceps exercises. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Because the triceps account for approximately two-thirds of the upper arm, strengthening them is essential if you want to achieve the goal of having larger arms. The issue is that each lifter uses a methodology that is unique to themselves. Some people just do a variety of pushdowns, while others may remain stationary at the dumbbell rack for the entire hour. Which is better? To tell you the truth, it is going to rely on the move that you are attempting to execute there. Because of this, we have taken your thousands of options and narrowed them down to these five greatest exercises for gaining muscle in your upper arms by applying the following criteria. Number 5. Skull Crusher. Reasons why it made the list, this exercise targets two of the three heads of the triceps, specifically the long head and the lateral head. It is also known as a lying triceps extension. Because it is performed on a flat bench with the elbows locked over the head, thus the name. It is the most common variation, although it may also be performed effectively on an incline or decline bench. In addition to that, you may adjust the level of difficulty by using different types of resistance, such as an easy bar, dumbbells, cables, or even a smith machine. Variations of the Skull Crusher for Triceps Development Easy Bar Skull Crusher, Flat, Decline, Incline Barbell Skull Crusher Dumbbell Skull Crusher Band Skull Crusher Skull Crusher that goes behind the head After you have warmed up your elbows, Move on to the first or second exercise in your regimen and execute 3 to 4 sets with 8 to 12 repetitions per set. Don't try to be a hero and put your head in danger. You'll need to hit your reps if you want to grow tris that can equal your bis. Number 4. Close Grip Bench Press. Reasons why it made the list, compound, or multi-joint, exercises are the ones that we recommend most highly, and if you've read any of our guides on the 10 best exercises for the chest, back, or shoulders, then you already know this. Why? Because they are superior in terms of progressive overload and contributing to overall muscle growth. It has been demonstrated that a close grip push hits the triceps harder than broader grips, particularly when performed for heavier sets. This is the case even though the bench press is traditionally considered a chest exercise. Utilize a close hold while maintaining a distance of approximately 8 to 10 inches between your hands to maximize the burn on the back of your arms. Tuck your arms in to increase the effort placed on your triceps while simultaneously reducing the amount of stress that is placed on your pecs and shoulders. Alternate ways to perform the close grip bench press to build your triceps. Pressing a barbell with a close hold on the bench. Bench press using a Smith machine with a close grip. Press run by JM. Bench press with a close hold on the dumbbells. Throughout your workout, in your workout, you should perform this movement either first or second. Perform 3 to 4 sets with 6 to 10 repetitions per set. Do not be afraid to utilize wrist wraps as an additional support mechanism if you are going heavy. Number 3. Triceps dip. The triceps dip is an excellent workout that can be done with only your body weight and helps increase arm and shoulder strength. This easy workout may be done virtually anywhere, and there are many different varieties available to cater to people of varying fitness levels. Include it as a component of a strength training routine for the upper body. Reasons why it made the list, on their own, dips have been shown to be an effective mass building exercise. Their only issue is that many people are unable to complete enough repetitions to fall into the optimal range for growing muscle, which is 8 to 12 reps each set. Either that, or they are capable of doing an excessive amount. In the former scenario, you should utilize a band or a machine that assists with dips and pull-ups. For the second option, you can strengthen the exercise by placing a dip belt or a light dumbbell in between your knees or feet. Dips work the chest as well as the triceps, but to target the triceps more effectively, maintain your torso as upright as you can. Avoid slouching forward, and keep your elbows in close to your sides at all times. Do you believe that dipping won't work for you? If you look at any male gymnast, you'll see that they all have horseshoe triceps because of all the dips they do. Variations of the dip for building triceps. Triceps dip. Ring dip. Russian bar dip. The dip is banded. How to perform a dip with your triceps. 
Grip the edge of a stable chair, weight bench, or step while seated on the edge of the chair. Do this with your hands adjacent to your hips. Your legs should be stretched, your feet should be roughly hip width apart, and your heels should be touching the ground. Your fingers should be aimed in the direction of your feet. Keep your head erect and your chin up as you look forward. You'll need to press into your palms to lift your body, and then move forward just far enough so that your behind is clear of the edge of the chair. Reduce your height until your elbows are bent at an angle ranging from 45 to 90 degrees. Maintain complete control over the motion over its whole range. Repeat the process of slowly pushing yourself back up until your arms are almost completely straight. If dips are difficult for you, you should start your triceps workout with another exercise before moving on to them. In such case, you should use them anywhere in the midst of your workout to help pump blood into your arms. Aim for 3 to 4 sets, with 8 to 12 reps in each set. Number 2. Bench Dip. Triceps, chest, and shoulder muscles can all be worked out more effectively with bench dips. In addition to this, they are easy to scale. Bench dips are a versatile exercise that you should incorporate into your regimen. You can use them to either relieve some pressure or take on a greater challenge. What makes a bench dip distinct from a standard dip is that it's done on a bench. When you perform a bench dip, you will dip off of a bench with your feet planted on the ground below you. This is the only equipment you will need. In order to finish a standard dip, you will need to lift your entire body weight onto two parallel bars. After mastering the bench dip, the next logical step is to move on to the normal dip, which demands significantly greater strength. To ensure that you are performing a bench dip with correct form, follow these steps. Take a seat on a bench and place your hands on the bench next to your thighs. You can also perform a bench dip off a stair or any other elevated surface, the steps are the same in either case. Walk your feet out to the edge of the bench, then extend your legs so that your bottom is lifted off the bench. Hold this position while extending your arms. Hinging at the elbow, lower your body down as far as you are able to go, or until the angle formed by your arms is 90 degrees. To begin, start by pushing up through the back of your palms. Why is it on the list? Do we really need another dip? Yep. During a bench dip, there appears to be a significant amount of triceps activation, according to EMG findings. How can you improve upon this tried and true maneuver from the calisthenics repertoire? By piling on more weight and making the load heavier. Have a friend arrange weights across your lap so that you can load up in the most effective and secure manner possible. It is simple to perform intensity boosters such as drop sets, to lengthen your set, merely remove a plate from the rack. Number 1. Triceps Machine Dip. In your workout, you should perform this exercise either in the middle or towards the end of your workout, and you should aim for 3 sets of 8 to 12 repetitions. Because your shoulders will round forward while you perform this exercise, it is not the ideal choice if you are feeling extremely exhausted. This puts your shoulders in a position where they could be injured. First place goes to the triceps machine dip. The reason it's included on the list is because this complex exercise makes it particularly simple to choose and alter weights for a variety of rep ranges. This makes it simple for you to increase the intensity of your workout by performing forced reps, drop sets, or even rest pause sets. A common mistake made by trainees at this stage is to stop short of extending their triceps entirely and to stop short of bending their elbows all the way. Because your triceps are responsible for elbow extension, you should exercise them through their whole range of motion. Variations on the triceps machine dip for optimal triceps development. Dip machine. During your workout, perform this exercise either at the beginning or the middle of your workout for 3 to 4 sets of 6 to 10 repetitions each, and you will be persuaded that this is one of the best machines available for increasing arm muscle. Alternately, you can increase the number of repetitions to double digits as a burnout for your upper arms. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.